What's up guys? So I have owned these Cutco knives for a little bit over a year. And this actual knife right here, I've owned for more than a decade and it is a uh, Cutco knife. I'll talk a little bit more about this in a minute, but I just wanna be clear, this video is just about the knives. I bought these at Costco. This video is nothing about, you know, the business model and how they do their marketing and sales and all that kind of stuff. So I just wanted to say that if you're looking for that kind of information, you're gonna to wanna to go to the next video. This video, I'm making it for the people that are actually interested in buying these Cutco knives, or just anybody who's curious to know, like, are they worth it? Do they live up to the hype? What's it like for somebody actually who uses them? So I'm gonna cover why I bought it, the pros, the cons, and then I'm gonna give my opinion on whether or not I think you should buy these knives and use these knives. And just so you know, like, where my perspective is coming from, I'm not a knife expert and I'm also not a chef. I would say I'm just like, you know, your typical average Joe guy who uses these Cutco knives. Just want you to understand that and where I'm coming from. And let me just explain why I ended up buying these actual knives. You know, three, four years ago, I bought what I thought was, and I think still are, a good knife set off of Amazon. I'll put a link in the description. And we use those knives. And I also had some other knives. I got married and we combined our cooking utensils and stuff. You know, my wife had some ceramic knives. I had some older ones and then I, I bought those. But what was funny about it was this knife right here, which I got over a decade ago is when I was living in an apartment and I've used a lot, was one of our favorite knives to use. And it is a Cutco knife. But the point is, is that we loved this knife and this is just a steak knife. So I always kind of had that in the back of my mind. Now that nice set I bought, it was my mistake. I didn't realize, hey, it's not dishwasher safe. Like I said, I'm not a knife guy, but they started to fall apart. You know, putting them in the dishwasher, I think the wood warped and the rivets weren't holding as well and they just didn't last that long and weren't that nice or enjoyable to use. And what is funny is that we were using this little steak knife to do a lot of our, you know, heavy duty cutting and especially with stuff like apples or tomatoes or that sort of thing. Now I was shopping in Costco and I saw the Cutco little booth that they have sometimes. And I walked up to the booth just to get an idea of what these knives are. I've definitely heard of them before and I knew they were really expensive and I just wanted to check them out. When I was at the booth, random people that were shopping kept coming up to the booth and saying, oh, I love those knives. I've had my set for X amount of years. I love them, yada, yada. It was so much so that I started to question like, is this some kind of scam? Like are these paid actors or actresses that are coming up and saying this thing? But I was shocked how it was just like real live review. I think at least three people came up and was like, hey, I own these knives, they're great knives. And they just wanted to stop their shopping just to come by and let me know that. So I did a little bit more research and you know, some time went by and the knives we were using, we just didn't like. And I finally made the decision like, hey, I want to purchase some Costco, excuse me, I want to purchase some Cutco knives. And I thought it was a pretty good deal that I saw at Costco. I went to their website and saw it was going to be way more expensive there. When I went back to Costco, there was no booth, but I think someone there let us know, you know, they're planning on coming back uh, around Thanksgiving, Christmas. This was about a year ago. Um, so we, I was just like, hey, if it lines up, if I go back to Costco and they happen to be there, I think I'm gonna buy them. So obviously that did happen and I bought these knives because I thought they were a good value. I can't remember exactly how much I spent, but I remember it was about $1,000. I did buy these shears, which was separate from the kit. I think there might've even been another knife, like the, the cheese knife that I bought, but it was about $1,000 for this. So I just wanted to explain why I bought them, where I bought them. Now what was funny was the exact same thing happened. I go up and you know I start talking to the lady about the knives and everything, and then just people kept coming up to the display little booth and saying, I love my set of Cutco knives. I've had them for X amount of years. They're great, yada, yada. Again, I was like questioning like, wait, is are these paid actors? Like, is this serious? So that definitely gave me a lot of confidence in buying them. I remember actually when I was checking out from Costco, you know, you have to hand them the receipt and they like make sure, you know, everything's in your cart and you bought it. And they saw, oh, you bought the Cutco knives. I have a pair, I love them. They're great. It was like, wow, even this guy likes these knives. And now I'm gonna get into the pros, but I wanted to tell that story just to give you an understanding of why I bought them. And I think it really exemplifies what I think is the biggest pro. People who own these knives seem to love them. I'm sure there's some people that don't, but at least in my world, I guess it is anecdotal, but 
Everyone I've talked to who actually owns these knives love to talk about how much they love them. It's funny, I had um, someone I worked with saw that I had these shears, they came over, and he had to go out of his way to say, hey, I actually have those, I've had them for a long time, I can't remember specifically, but it was like 20 years or something, and he's like, they're awesome, they're still just as sharp today, I use them all the time. Again, he just wanted to rave about how satisfied he was with this product. Which leads into my next point is that I think one of the best things with these knives is that they're very durable and last a long time. There are multiple people out there and stories you can read online of people who've had these for like 20 plus years. And the whole idea behind these Cutco knives is that they last forever. They have a forever guarantee so that they're gonna last as long as you last. And if for whatever reason they need some maintenance like sharpening and stuff, they'll do that for free. But I can definitely tell by using them and whatnot that these are durable. I mean, I had that other set of knives that a year later, again, my fault, because I shouldn't have ran them through the dishwasher, um, just started to fall apart and not be as nice as they were, where these are still like almost, I mean, they feel like I just yesterday when I bought them. They're still exceptionally great. Another huge pro is that they stay sharp for a really, really long time. Like I said, this is over a decade old. It's had a ton of use. This was our favorite knife to use. We've used it a ton and it's still sharp. I've never sharpened it. And I think it's because of this, you know, they call it double D or, or D technology, where essentially you've got a serrated tip and in the serrations is where the sharp part is and the actual tips protect it. So when you're doing this on your board, the sharp part of the knife never rubs up against the board. And that's what helps these stay sharp for a long time. And a lot of their knives, even this guy right here, which looks like your, you know, chef's knife is serrated. They do have, at least in the kit that I bought, a chef's knife that is not serrated. But even this knife, you know, I don't think it's anything special. It's just carbon stainless steel, which I'm sure a lot of knives are made out of. But their hardening process works really well because, you know, we've used this a ton of times. You can see I have a wood cutting block here, but we also use, you know, these plastic ones, which I know, I'm pretty sure the plastic is like harder on the knife, but it has not dulled the blade. It's still exceptionally sharp, and I have not sharpened this blade once. And again, it's over a year of use, just mild use. We don't do a ton of cooking, but I can tell you for sure it held up a lot better than my last set of knives. So I can definitely say these knives last a long time. I don't know of any other company that gives a forever guarantee where they'll sharpen them for free. There is a disclaimer there, you do have to pay for shipping costs. And they even say that you can gift them. So unless I'm misunderstanding, you know, you can use these your whole life, gift them to your kids, and then they have them forever. So I just don't know of any other knife company, kitchen knife company that has that kind of guarantee and stands behind their product that much. So another pro is that they're dishwasher safe, which might not sound like a big deal, but my family and I like to use the dishwasher and we like to throw these in the dishwasher and it's nice to know that they're not gonna damage them like my last set of knives. The uh, plastic handle, I guess it's epoxy or their technical word is thermo resin. It is super durable. And these, for the one year that I've had them, have held up exceptionally well. And the last thing I'll say, you know, obviously this is an opinion. In my opinion, I think they look really nice. I think they're a good looking knife. So now let's get on to the cons, because all I've said is great things about these knives, right? Without a doubt, number one, the biggest con is the price. They are ridiculous in price. You can definitely get knives that I think are gonna be equal, maybe even better quality for less money. These are really, really, really expensive. And I think that is by far the biggest con. Now there's a million ways you could justify things, but obviously the easiest way for me to justify these knives is they're supposed to be the last knife that I ever buy. They're forever guarantee. If they go dull, I can sharpen them. They actually do with the Costco kit I bought, give you a knife sharpener so you can sharpen them yourself if you want to. Now another con that I think if you talk to somebody who's owned Cutco's will say, because I've heard this multiple times, is that they're almost too sharp. Like you will cut yourself, and I have cut myself, and it was a pretty deep cut. They're exceptionally sharp. My wife has cut herself as well. It's almost a guarantee if you get these knives, you'll probably at one point cut yourself, and I'd say that's a pretty big con. All right, now another con, because as I mentioned in the pro, the way they look is an opinion. I could see some people saying that these are just not good looking knives, you know, it's like, it's plastic. There's nothing special about them. I could see some people saying that they actually think that uh, it's not a good looking knife. I like the handles, but I could see some people saying that they don't like the handles in the way that they feel. 
And the only way you're gonna know that is you gotta actually try them out. So I thought it was kind of weird with the package deals they have with the knives. Um, if you get them at Costco, you can only get them in black or it's got some like different colors in here. It's not like pure black. But I just thought it was kind of funny that you get one like true chef knife in the set I bought, which it'll actually change. You get these two really long ones that are pretty much the same. Like, why do I need two of those? But I'm pretty sure that they change out the sets you get at Costco and it's a special deal at Costco that you can't get other places. So I could see that being kind of annoying. Like, well, the knives I actually want, I would have to buy them individually, which costs more and they don't really have the set that I want. All right, so just my overall opinion is, yeah, I think they're a little overpriced. They're really expensive. I can understand how they're like, well, hey, if we're basically saying we're gonna sharpen these for free for the next 100 years, we gotta charge a lot, so sure. But I think they're a tad bit expensive, but I actually do love owning them. It is more enjoyable to do cutting and stuff. Obviously, I think it's pretty clear, like I like the knives, they're great. I'll probably be one of those guys after like a decade passes that, hey, if I'm in Costco and someone's checking them out, I can let them know, hey, I've had them for 10 years and they're holding up well and I, I do really like them. But the real question is, should you buy these knives? And I think where I might be able to help out with that is you should buy them if you fall into two categories. And if you don't fall in these categories, I would maybe think twice about it because the last thing you want is buyer's remorse. Now the first category is you have to like the appearance and the feel of these knives. Cause think about it, this is supposed to be the last knife that you ever buy for the rest of your life. So hopefully you like them. Cause if you don't like the way they look, you're gonna have to look at them the rest of your life. So make sure you like the color, make sure you like the way they feel. If you know somebody who has them, or maybe you're lucky like me and you have a Costco nearby that has them being sold, you can go actually put them in your hand, make sure you actually like the way the handle is, and that you like the look of them. So if you don't like the look of them, I would say just pass on it. And then the second thing is, if you kind of subscribe to that idea of like, you know, some people call it buy once, cry once, where you really do get value and like to use that strategy to where it's like, hey, rather than buying something multiple times, I'd rather just buy one nice high quality valued thing once that's gonna last me a really long time, or in this case, a lifetime. So maybe the best way I can explain it is I know there's some people that are just like, they're never gonna own a Mac because it just seems stupid to them. It's like, you can buy a PC that has the same RAM, the same gigahertz, the same Intel chip, the same stats in all these areas, and you can get it for way less. Why would you pay the extra money just for like Apple that's like supposed to be real nice or whatever it is? If you're in that category or place, I would definitely not buy these knives because I think you'll have buyer's remorse. But if you do like to have nice things and find value in buying like high quality stuff that I'm admitting it's expensive and in a lot of cases not worth it, but you can justify it by saying, you know, this is gonna be a lifetime purchase that I'm not gonna have to worry about ever again. And I like having really nice things. And as long as you like the look, I think if you buy this, you'll be very, very pleased. I hope this video helps you out. Like, comment, subscribe. Definitely, if you have some Cutco knives in the comments, let me know what you think. Thanks for watching, bye.